Welcome back everyone to Most Amazing Top 10. Now my name is Danny Burke and quite a while back Landon did a video right here talking about all the times when people have gone under the knife to change something about their physical appearance and it all went terribly wrong. The horrific mistakes that we're going to be talking about are rare but a lot of you guys asked for another video on it and enough of them do happen every year for us to do just that for you. So without further ado, this is the Top 10 Extreme Plastic Surgery Disasters Part 2. All right, starting things off now, at number 10, we have April Brown. Now this woman from LA was bullied when she was younger for having a flat butt. So when someone came into her workplace saying they had silicone injections for her, April jumped at the chance. However, it turned out that the injections were actually bathroom sealant. You shouldn't put that in your body. She felt mortally ill and eventually slipped into a coma. Now to save her life, surgeons actually performed 27 operations on her, including a buttock amputation and having both arms and both legs amputated. When April woke up, she said she was just happy that the pain was finally gone and now warns other people who are thinking of getting plastic surgery that they are already born whole and perfect and complete. At number nine now, we have a woman who wanted to remain anonymous, so I'm just going to call her Bone Eye. That's not a random name, I just made up. You'll find out why she's called that now. This woman in her late 60s visited an LA clinic to get a facelift combined with injection of her own stem cells. The whole thing cost her around $20,000 and things seemed totally fine up until three months later when her eyes started hurting and making a clicking noise. Hmm. She went into surgery and doctors actually dug out small chunks of bone from the woman's eyelids. The clicking was the sound of bone grinding inside her eye. Oh god. Now it turns out the stem cells that they injected into her can turn into any other type of cell and they also injected a filler that contained calcium which turned the stem cells into pure bone. Now you see why I called her bone eye and now you see why we should just move on before I start to feel sick. Coming in at number 8 now we have Crystal Morgan. This Australian woman visited the Cosmetic Institute Sydney or TCI for a breast augmentation. When she woke up from the operation she was surrounded by doctors and nurses and she quickly realized something was very wrong she couldn't breathe. Crystal said it got worse and worse and she was eventually rushed into an ambulance. Now during the operation on her breast, the surgeons had actually punctured her lung and the whole thing had collapsed. They had to cut open her rib cage and insert a tube just so that she could even breathe. The TCI clinic where she had it done didn't even apologize for this life-threatening mess they had made and stop me if I sound crazy here, they should. Yeah, an apology would be lovely. In at number seven now, we have her Elena Grace. She went under the knife for a tummy tuck to boost her self confidence but that left her with a lot of excess skin. She then had another operation to fix this and when she woke up, the doctor said it had been a success and that they'd removed 7 pounds of skin. Now while they weren't wrong about that, the sight of her new body horrified Helena. She had no belly button, there were large flaps of skin just hanging out over her hips and a pouch of skin was even sagging over her pubic bone. In her own words, she thought she looked like a man and was very embarrassed. Now thankfully Helena had corrective surgery which was apparently a success but we may never know if she got her belly button back at all. I'm kind of attached to my belly button personally and would really miss it, would you? I mean miss your obviously not mine. You, well, you could miss mine if you want. Like, whatever. Just move on. And moving on to our number six now. We have Lauren Yardley. Now, this British woman decided to have a breast implant to go from a size A cup to a double D. Everything seemed okay for a while, but then two months after the operation, she awoke to find the implant was literally just poking out of her breast. The doctors could not believe that Lauren was not in septic shock. They realized that the scar tissue had tightened so much it just squeezed the implant right out. Doctors successfully removed it, but Lauren had to wait seven months for it to heal before having it redone. She said it was horrific having to walk around with only one breast for over half a year. I don't know about that, Lauren. I think it's uh, pretty hard to top the whole implant hanging out thing. That's probably the most horrifying thing of the story. And coming in at number five now, we have Janet Hardit. Janet was an American woman who had undergone several surgeries on her face, but was apparently obsessed with self-injecting products into her face as well. Now these had not 
not seem to work as those who knew her described her face as being grotesque. Their words not mine. But this didn't stop Janet at all though and in September 2011 she boiled some beef, extracted the hot fat from it and injected it into her own face. Not long after her skin felt like it was burning so she went to the hospital where doctors found that she actually had a pre-existing bacterial infection that was attacking her colon. She died soon after when doctors couldn't save her life. Sitting at the number 4 spot now we have Kate Everswick. Kate wasn't happy with her body after giving birth and so she signed up with a local plastic surgeon for what was called a mommy makeover, basically a tummy tuck and a breast lift. She left with 34 double D's and described them as beautiful, but what came next? certainly wasn't. The incision started opening up, first a tiny little bit and then holes started appearing all over and getting bigger and bigger and joining up until she had one large hole from hip to hip that she could literally stick her finger right in and not touch anything. How horrifying is that? Surgeons essentially had to sew her back up again and the whole ordeal has not only left her with large scarring but also made her infertile for life. Moving on to number 3 we have Mimi Valdez. This Texan woman travelled to Mexico with her niece for plastic surgery as it was a lot cheaper to get it done there than in the US. She wanted to have excess saggy skin removed after losing 130 pounds in weight. When they arrived at Hospital Jerusalem in Tijuana they said it looked more like a shopping mall clinic than the hospital they saw on the website. Still they went ahead with their operations. Now when they awoke and removed their bandages they were horrified to find skin hanging out of their incisions. They ended up fighting for their life in a a proper hospital somewhere else and are now permanently disfigured for life. Meanwhile the hospital in Tijuana won't even acknowledge that they were even patients there. It's good to hear that they survived and I bet they now know why that place was so much cheaper. Ok coming in at number 2 now we have Renee Tarly. This 45 year old story first caught the public's eye when she appeared on the show Botched. She talked about how in 2010 she noticed that something was wrong with some silicone butt implant she had. Doctors diagnosed her with having an autoimmune disease which is where the body starts attacking itself. Eventually she uploaded a video that went viral on YouTube of her being able to flip the implants a full 360 degrees. It's a pretty terrifying sight. Renee wanted to warn other women out there to not have silicon butt implants and to love the skin you're in. I certainly appreciate my butt a lot more after that story. That was weird. Moving on. And finally number 1 we have Marilyn Lease. I find this one pretty scary indeed. Marilyn was born with a malfunction of the eyelids and had a number of surgeries to correct this. Now although they did seem to work, Marilyn went to a new surgeon when she noticed that there were some bumps on her eyelids. Now he performed a surgery to remove the excess fat on them but instead he left Marilyn with a nightmare. She could no longer close her eyes. Even after 30 surgeries to fix this, she still can't fully close them. She said that she has to put on special gel onto her eyes when she showers so the water and the soap doesn't get into them. And when it comes to sleeping, Marilyn said she covers them in gel and medication and then has to wear a sleeping mask to stop her eyes from being scratched in the night. Oh god. Now she successfully sued the clinic for $115,000 but Marilyn said that's not even close to being enough and that she feels her whole life has been stolen away from her. Well guys that is all we've got for you in this video. Now which one do you think was the most shocking of them all? What are your thoughts on plastic surgery in general? Personally I do find it really sad that people get seriously injured sometimes for life from what seems like such routine procedures but do you think that these risks are all part of the surgery, maybe they bring it on themselves. Now whatever your thoughts and feelings are leave them down below. Thanks as ever for watching Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burr, you can find me on Instagram somewhere down there and I'll see all you guys in the next one.